Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So it's shot my stash again and I am going to change things up a little bit. So if you remember for October, I decided on the Aldi Neutrals Intense Palette, which is the dupe for the an Urban Decay Palette Naked Heat, that's the one. And to be honest, I went in with this once. Uh, I don't know. I just think the shades are a little bit samey. I do like the palette, but I just think they're a little bit samey, to be honest, and I wasn't feeling it. So, yeah, just once. The next one I watch. Oh, that was going well. <laughs> Failed. Can't get me words there. So the next one I went in with was the Roxy palette from Revolution. And that's her collaboration with them. And I did use this a good two or three times and I really like it. I enjoy the palette. I was going in with some different shades as you can see. And I really do love this. Now that to me looks like... I will try that again. That to me looks like cookie dough from the sofa palette so i'm gonna have a look at that in a minute because i'm quite intrigued but yeah i went in with that a few times then i used the bubble nebula palette from you can be nearly said urban decay for some reason um and it looks like that and I did use that one or two times. Not many really, but one or two times. And I do really like it. That shade is gorgeous. And that shade is just absolute beautiful. Really enjoyed those. So I really do like this palette. It's a really nice workable palette. Blends out really well and quickly. The next one I went in with was this Twilight Dusk palette from You Can Be as well. And that is a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette, which I'll pop down there just about now. And also, this is a dupe for Huda Beauty palette too, so I'll also pop that here. And no mirror in this palette, in which it could have had a mirror, but it hasn't. And I went in with that a good couple of times, if not a bit more. And uh, yeah, I really like this one too. That red's really nice and I can blend it in with that and make it a bit more berry or that one and that one. And I just really like that. It's really a nice palette. So that's what I chose for October. And I'm going to bring the Roxy one back here because I was thinking what can I do, what can I change it up with because I'm a bit like getting a bit bored of one or two palettes because i just like to go in the drawer and choose one you might have saw on my instagram that i was doing looks with the origins palette from beauty bay because i've really fell for that but that's not in my stash i nearly put it there but i just didn't so i had a brainwave thinking do i go in with um, different brands for the whole of the month or things like that or one brand or something like that now it has turned out it's going to be a one brand and i decided with this humongous chunk here of revolution collaboration palettes that i'm going to be using all these and it's a lot to put into one shot my stash but i do like a variety so I'm going back in with the Roxy palette. Now you've just seen this, so I'm not going to open it back up for you. Although I was going to check the cookie dough shade, wasn't I? So we'll do that in a moment. I'm also going to be using, if I took them out of the boxes earlier, this would have been better. But the Revolution Jack palette. Now I really, ooh, come on. I really do enjoy this palette. It's a really nice versatile palette. It's pretty and I need to use some of these shades, but absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. I'm also going to go in with this. See, should have took the boxes off. 
before I came to film. The Imagination Panic, which is imaging off YouTube. And I'm going to be using that because I was obsessed with this when I first got it. So, and I am loving the look of that colour there. It's picking up a bit more greeny than it is, but it's sort of like a greeny brown shade. And I am slobbing all over the place. I don't know what's going on there. So, yeah, I'm going to be using that. I have got a hell of a lot of collaboration palettes. I'm also going to go in with this Revolution Kami palette. He's also a YouTuber. He, I don't know what country of origin he is. Um, and this is gorgeous. I only wish is, my only wish is, there was a bit more variety in shades in the mattes. But that's it. But this highlighter is a lot. Is a nice greeny sort of shade. I won't mind my words going again because it's Friday. But anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's too dark for highlighter, but it's actually really pretty. And it'll be nice on the eyes. Uh, yeah, that is my only wish. It was more matte shades, more variety of mattes. But I'm going to work with that. And I'm going to just slip these out of their boxes quickly, which is a mess all over the bed now. I'm going to be using all my safe range palettes. So I'm going to test out that cookie dough. So it's in the first palette and the newer palette. And I just want to see, that's no, not the first palette, that's Roxy's. Yeah, that's it. Let me just... And Roxy's is called Cookie. Going on there. One copy the other. Um, and Cookie Dough from Soph. That is so well loved. As you can see. Uh, they are very similar. Maybe one's a little bit different. Oh wow, they are, look, slightly different browns, not much in it, really not much in it. Wow, mm, tissue. Certainly not a lot in that. Still got the shade swatched on me and from earlier. So, let me pick these palettes up. So, I'm just showed you this palette so I'm going to be going in with that one which is the extra spice palette also a uh, first eye shadows and she didn't call this a name it was just so fix take that sleeve off just here now I'm kind of not sure about this palette I was a bit I liked it a lot on the look of it but some of the shades take a little bit more work than they should with the shimmery ones, the matte ones are fine so I'm going to work with this a bit more, I'm hoping to and this one is just, um, yeah, no name particularly just Sofex Shadows and I've not had this all that long it's not come out too long ago I think it was about the back end of July and... I've not used it enough, but I'm not going in the cookie dough from this palette because I've got it in the other palette and I want to pan that first. And the same with brownies, which is here. I also want to do that because it's in that palette. She just put a couple of shades which are people's favourites and cookie dough is a favourite of mine. It's nice as a transition shade. It's just nice to use on its own. And... Yeah, so I'm going to be working with that because I really do like this palette. Oh, and this is a lot of talking for a video. So, that is the palettes I'm going to be going on with. Now I've got to tidy everything away. 
<laughs> because I just tend to throw things around and then I have to tidy everything. It is a thing. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the group of ladies in the description box called The Authentic Army. They will give you an honest review. They are a bunch of small time creators and they're all so lovely. Also, please, if you feel the need and you would like to, please comment, like, comment and subscribe and all of that jazz. I will see you again very soon. Goodbye, everyone. Sing it out at street level No boost the bass and twist the treble All I need is light and employ your mind